once a production order is executed there are some specific functions need to be performed to ensure proper completion of production orders in this session we will discuss those functions so before going to the session let us discuss the what we discussed so far so we saw the basic concepts of production planning production types organization structure with respect to sap production planning then we discussed material master bill of material work centers routing and production version then we talked about the demand how to run mrp how to evaluate mrp exception handling mrp outputs what are planned orders and then we discussed how to create release and printing of production orders and then how to issue goods to the production orders and then how to do the production order confirmation how to receive materials from the production so now let us just see what is the overview of the production order so we have the overview of the production order the first step is as we saw planned orders are created from the mrp material requirement planning and then these planned orders are converted into production orders also here the planned cost for the production orders are carried out and then the production orders are released then they are printed goods issue is done to execute the production production is done in the shop floor and then goods received from the production is done once we do all these things there are subsequent functions which has to be done after the production is completed those functions are some of the functions here like uh, closing of production order or cancellation of production order confirmation or rectify some of the metal movement errors technical completion of production orders mass processing of production orders so those things we'll discuss here now first we'll talk about closing of the production orders due to some reasons a production order which was created and released and printed also probably we are not able to execute the production due to some reasons there is a machine breakdown or the requirement has been changed or a customer has cancelled the order like that there may be some reasons because of this we may need to close the order if you have to close the order then what will happen it has to be cancelled right otherwise it will be keeping all the reservations all the materials capacities all those things are reserved so to close the order before we do anything like you know doing like uh, doing goods issue or anything we can close the order and uh, we can uh, remove it from the other activities this is done through transaction called co02 the change in production order when you go into change in production order here you can see that the functions restrict processing and then there is a close option is there right the close option that you click it and then when you save it so what will happen the status of the production order will change it to clst closed if the closed means this particular orders capacity booking material reservations all these things will be closed so the order also it will be closed it will not be considered for any other requirement so this is the first step of closing the orders this will happen right some many cases right we have some production orders if you see in many organizations there will be lot of production orders there will be there in system so people are not using sap these kind of things are some of the important routine things where they should be checked frequently and routine process should be followed to ensure that these kind of things are closed and the system is uh, uh, maintained clean and then production order confirmation cancellation so why the production order confirmation cancellation may happen because during the production order confirmation there may be some incorrect details maybe that the quantity entered is wrong or the metal entered may be wrong or activities entered may be wrong all these things may be wrong so whatever we enter these kind of wrong details those things cannot be changed as part of the confirmation what we can do is we can cancel the confirmation and then correct the details with another confirmation that's what we can do so we have to do the cancellation how to do the cancellation use the t code co13 so once you put the co13 this screen will appear there enter the production order number now system will ask for confirmation to cancel the order also we can click on the the status information icon there then you the system will show the details these are there then to proceed with the cancellation press enter and proceed 
now the details of the production order are displayed okay these are all the details which are there and also if you want to see the goods movements click on the goods movement icon there right there is icon goods movement so we can see the goods movement reversals for example goods issue 101 has become 102 uh, what is the goods received and the goods issue 261 have become 262 these things we are seeing in the goods movement page now we can save the uh, confirmation cancellation with the save button and there is also option to enter what is the reason for the cancellation that also we can enter here right for example now future we want to uh, track why the order was uh, confirmation was cancelled like that if we want to see something then you have to enter the text here so once we enter all these things save it confirmation of the order would be cancelled this is how we do the cancellation of production order confirmation so next is called production order reprocessing which means there is a metal movement like you know 261 or 101 something as used now for example when you do backlash which is used for the goods issue to the production order or there is automatic goods shift from the production order is done how it is automatic production order goods shift is done through control key hope you remember it so sometimes what will happen system will face some issue because the stock may not be there in the location or in the metal master the store location might not have been maintained by these kind of issues may be there so what will happen when you do the confirmation of the order there may be error because these are automatic issues no it may be error during the error we can stop the confirmation itself in a configuration we can stop the confirmation itself there is error but uh, some companies they will keep it just warning message what will happen here in the shop floor they will just ignore all these warning message they will keep on confirming it so when you do like this no there will be a lot of errors in the system what will happen if there are a lot of errors in the system there will be wrong inventory your stock will not be properly showing right if the system will show stock physically it may not be. all these issues will come so a production planner has to regularly review these kind of errors which are happening in the production orders and then rectify them on a regular basis so when i was working i used to tell my planners to see this transaction on daily basis daily basis they have to see that if there is any error which has happened yesterday correct them today itself that is what the discipline we follow because of this we kept very clean sap system and also it was working fantastic for us so now how to do this rectification of the metal moment menu path is shown here or use the transaction code called cogi that is the transaction code kogi normally people used to say it as kogi kogi transaction like that this is this is one right cogi so after entering cogi we are going to the selection screen so now we are seeing a lot of selection parameters and enter the plant so here list of the records are shown i mean which are all the orders are there like this it will show now you have to select which line item you want to uh, rectify and then select the record and then click the display records button to show what kind of error is there. Now system is showing what is missing. So here for example now there is a deficient stock of this much material in that particular location it is missing like that it is showing. Now we have to take the line item what is showing the error and then click on the change details right there is icon which is showing the change details so here we have system will open what are all the details we need to enter what is the store location for example metal may be in different location you can select it or maybe you bring the stock then enter it like this we can do it right like this we can whatever the corrections we need to do we have to do all these things then save it with these things what will happen the metal movement is corrected apart from metal movement there may be some cost calculation errors also may be there it can be set in two ways how system to behave when the cost calculation occurs there should be warning message in this case we may confirm and correct later than through cofc transaction called cofc the another is give the error message if there is a problem with the cost calculation system will not allow to do the confirmation itself so we need to correct the error then you have to do i will suggest this is the best method if there is any error in the cost system should not allow to do any confirmation this should be thing which has to be done and this has to be done by working with the controlling consultant and also the controlling users so please work with them right you can do it next is called the production order completion that is a technical completion normally people used to say it as a techo so whenever a production order is completed all the aspects then we should technically complete the order why we should technically complete the order because 
the order once we completed that should not be available for further mrp and that should not be there in any reservations there should not be any capacity requirements all these things have to be cleared and system has to be clean for this so for this technical completion has to be done again technical completion is done through transaction co02 where we are doing it through this the functions uh, restrict processing and complete technically so after techo is done we will not be able to change anything in the production order and also we cannot confirm the production order also we cannot confirm cost also okay so this is the impact of the techo next is production order settlement so when a production order is created planned cost are recalculated when actual production occurs actual cost that has to be assigned to the production order so when the price control is maintained as standard price actual cost may be passed on to settle the production order because there should be actual cost and that's a standard price right so controlling team will do the settlement process when they complete this activity the status of the production order will be changed from delivery completed to the settlement rule uh, status also when the goods issue is done system will show them as a wap and we can see them individually or collectively wap detail those things also have to be uh, settled by the support of uh, controlling team so transaction kkax for single order or kkao for multiple orders will be done this production order settlement is better to be done with the support of controlling team users okay it is not just only the activity of a production planning so this is the uh, integration between production planning and controlling team so next we will see another point of closing the order earlier we discussed about closing the order that before starting any activity but this is closing the order that after we complete all the activities right after completing all the activities of closing the order for example we complete like a production confirmation costing there are no open purchase or purchase requisition technical completion also done when all these things are done again do the closure okay when closure is done so if there is any pending reservation or something like that all these things will be completely closed this is also another way right this is the closure of the order in organizations it is suggested to follow techo after that leave it to the controlling team they will to take care of the settlement activities then it will be done production has to do until the techo process and then mass processing so what is mass processing because in regular operations we need to process lot of production orders it's not that daily one production order two production order we are doing it many production orders we have to do like a production order confirmation or we have to carry out capacity requirement or we have to do the picking or doing the costing or we have to choose the metal availability or we have to print the shop order like this many activities have to be done so for all these things to be done what we should do we cannot do them individually for one each production order right so these things can be done through the, uh, the menu path what is shown here or one of the examples we will discuss here the transaction called COHV here we can see lot of other options like a COMAC and then CO05N there is a CO04N, CO09N COHV is a mass processing but if you take COMAC, COMAC it is for collective availability check if you take CO05N it is collective release CO04N is printing CO09N is availability over. like this for uh, collective things there are many individual transactions also there and uh, these individual transactions also you have to practice them now when you do the COHV right now you have to select the parameter there are multiple options of parameters will be there see here production order number material production plant order type like these things are there so you enter the plant material what are the orders like this whatever you need to have the, those things enter then execute the transaction when you execute the transactions what do we see here we are getting the page which is showing in the mass processing tab in mass processing tab we can see various functions like confirmation costing like these various things are there when you go down right in the page of the functions parameters you can see what is the confirmation type because we selected confirmation no? so confirmation type is coming there if we select what is the function we are selecting accordingly the function parameter will come in the the mass processing in the function what do we select according to that function parameter will appear here so select them accordingly and then execute the transaction so once you execute the transaction what are all the orders which are required to be processed the list will be uh, shown here and select required orders and choose execute system will execute and provide the log of mass processing so you are seeing the log mass processing log is there 
and uh, uh, once it is executed we are seeing the system status is updated for example here it is showing printed confirmation delivery completed see because we use the confirmation right system is showing all the status here like this for each transaction system will keep updating the status of the portion order and now i suggest some key points which have to be followed in the production order things that is first point is the bom and routing for materials are copied into production order when it is created this means your bom routing should be there before we start the production order to avoid any issue this is the first point second point production order should be released before execution to carry out the confirmation that is the second point without releasing production order you cannot do anything of the production order the third point is ensure the standard costing of the metal is completed before order creation to ensure proper production related costing because the costing has to be done also it is important to review the errors in goods movements on regular basis as i said told on daily basis it has to be reviewed clear them then and there that is very very important so what we discussed so far we discussed about the cancellation of production order confirmation errors reprocessing the movements types and then we discuss about the production order settlement we discuss about technical completion we talked about how to close the production orders before execute after execution we talked about mass processing of orders what are the key points to be considered while managing the production orders so after discussing all these functions which have to be carried out in production order the next session we will discuss various reports related to production thank you give your feedback to improve the flow and content see you next session bye